how much do we really know the people on our TVs? Did Michael Kaufman reveal the greatest hoax, or are we now just victims of another one? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity conspiracy theories. You see this? Whoa! Right? For this list, we'll be looking at all the wacky, bizarre, and sometimes totally believable theories people have come up with about some of the world's biggest celebrities. From death hoaxes to cloning, if you're famous, chances are someone somewhere thinks you have something to hide. And maybe you do. If Monroe did swallow a lethal quantity of Nembutal, why did the autopsy surgeon not find traces of the capsules? Number 10, Megan Fox is a clone. It looks like your, uh, your distributor cap's a little loose. This isn't the first time people have speculated about a celebrity being replaced. And it's actually pretty easy to believe, since celebrities are such a big part of our culture. Like, what would happen if someone like Beyonce or Adele died? The world would go nuts. So why not just clone them and pretend like it never happened? Conspiracists point to Megan Fox's ever-evolving physical appearance as proof that she's no longer the same person she once was. But to be honest, every difference between past and present versions of the actress is easily explainable. Makeup covers her freckles, weight loss could have thinned out her face, and hey, here's a wild idea, maybe she's even experimented with plastic surgery. Although, even if Megan's transformation probably wasn't the work of cloning, you never know. Welcome to Megan Fox Island. Number 9. Bob Marley was poisoned by the CIA. After a four-year battle with melanoma, this reggae icon died in May of 1981. It went beyond his toe, it went beyond his lymph nodes, it spread throughout his body, <clears throat> to his brain, and to his lungs. Or so the story goes. Although there's no doubt the singer had cancer, whether it was the cancer that actually killed him is up for debate. At least according to conspiracy theorists. You know, the, this is the second life and death thing he went through. The first one was the assassination right. attempt, right? In 1976, a year before he was diagnosed, people broke into Marley's home and tried to assassinate him. If Marley was inhaling instead of exhaling, that bullet would have gone straight through his heart. That's an actual documented fact. But it's rumored that those assailants weren't the only ones trying to kill him. Allegedly, the CIA also wanted him dead since he had the power to influence so many. This theory is actually kind of plausible, since, according to the conspiracists anyway, one of the three men who shot at Marley in 1976 was himself a well-known CIA operative. On the road in my hometown, yes, they tried to track me down. Number 8. Lord is 45 years old. You can call me Queen B. Sure, the young singer does look older than her 19 years, but to say she's actually a 45-year-old woman is a bit of a stretch, and way harsh. Since beginning her music career at the ripe age of 16, people have been commenting that her look, as well as her mature lyrics, are beyond her years. I'm Some have even gone so far as to demand her birth certificate as proof. The chick that wrote the theme song to the new Hunger Games movie is you? Yeah, the record company messed it all up. It was supposed to go Hunger Games, yeah, 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 Hunger Games. Even South Park got in on the fun by portraying her as a 45-year-old transgender geologist, a joke that the singer herself laughed off. Lord's birth certificate was eventually released to the public, so this is one theory we can finally put to rest. Or is it? If I could talk to Lord right now, you know what I'd tell her? I'd tell her not to let people change who she is. I'd tell her that if people are making fun of her, it's probably because they've lost touch with being human. Number seven, Solange Knowles is Beyonce's daughter. It brings me to tears when I watch her. She's grown up so much and she's like my Baby. Solange Knowles is Beyonce's lesser-known little sister. Or is she? 
As with Lord, fans have doubted Beyonce's and Solange's real ages, claiming that the superstar is actually older than she claims to be and that her sister is younger. I could have been in love by now if it was Tony. Why would they lie about their ages? To cover up the fact that Solange is actually Beyonce's daughter, whom she would have had at around 12 or 13 years old. Even people who knew her as a teenager have said things that validate the claim that Beyonce was born earlier. Now I'm the one that's lying, and I don't feel bad about it. And if you need proof, well, just know that someone on the internet swears the Knowles cousin told them. So it must be true. Clearly. Number 6. Northwest is the Antichrist As you can see here, they went and they went to Jerusalem to do this ceremony. What else would you expect from the offspring of Kimye? We're just kidding. People have been speculating for as long as we can remember about certain celebrities being part of the Illuminati, a secret organization whose goal is to control the world. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are just some of the big names assumed to be involved. So naturally, people believe the birth of their child signified the coming of the Antichrist. No texture. Especially since someone on the internet pulled some numbers up about Northwest's birth date. And if you work it out just right, you get 666. Because of course you do. Kanye had every single rap in his iPhone before he uh, started really working on Pablo, mm -hmm. and then North flushed it down the toilet, <gasps> took her, and they could not be retrieved. No. Oh, we sent it to like four places, it, and so. No. Oh. Apple genius was genius enough. <laughs> Number five, Ted Cruz is the Zodiac Killer. Ted Cruz, family man, senator, candidate for president of the United States, serial killer. Does this look like a man who's standing like a normal human being? This one's more of a joke than an actual conspiracy theory. Or at least that's what they want you to think. We will defend freedom and be faithful to the Constitution. After a joke was made on social media that the Republican presidential hopeful titled one of his speeches, This is the Zodiac Speaking, people on the internet started freaking out and creating memes insinuating that the politician was himself the Zodiac a serial killer who went on a murder spree in the 60s and 70s and was never caught. Man, you really creeped us out. Obviously, the math's against this theory, as Cruz was only born two years after the murder started. Although, what if he's a vampire or some other form of undead creature? That'd just be ludicrous. But then again, how do we know he's not an immortal? I think one of the main goals I read was like, if we get this big enough, then Donald Trump will ask, <laughs> he'll start questioning it. Oh, like, that'd be great. Like, well, I mean, he, he's not saying he's not the killer, so, I mean, why wouldn't you just say no? Number four, Princess Diana was murdered. Attributing her death to negligence, mistakes, bad behavior, isn't nearly as tantalizing as a claim of murder. Bizarre conspiracies are not just the domain of the celebrity. In some cases, even nobility can get dragged into the weirdness. Case in point, the mystery surrounding the death of Diana, Princess of Wales. While the common belief is that Lady Di perished in a car crash while trying to escape paparazzi, there are witnesses who claim the paparazzi were nowhere near her at the time. Instead, the rumor mill suggests that the British Secret Service organized the murder to stop her from converting to Islam and marrying Dodi Fayed, who was in the car with her at the time. Some also believe that forces within the British government wanted her dead because she knew too much about their involvement with dun dun dun, the Illuminati. Number three, Britney Spears' meltdown was orchestrated by the Bush administration. Honestly, I think we should just trust our president in every decision that he makes and we should just support that. While this notion is hilarious to think about, if you're up on your conspiracy theories, it does sound like something the American government would probably do. Saddam Hussein has gone to elaborate lengths, spent enormous sums, taken great risks to build and keep weapons of mass destruction. But why? Well, supposedly, the Bush administration was working with then train wreck pop star Britney Spears to use her to cover up their own mistakes. Every time something went wrong in the White House, the singer would coincidentally do something to divert attention back to her. I vowed to do everything in my power to keep us safe. Bush's approval ratings reach an all-time low. Britney allegedly drops her baby. 
Al-Qaeda reforms after Bush promises to get rid of them? Boom, Britney shaves her head. Hey, it's a pretty big coincidence, you guys. She came in and she said she wanted her head shaved. The hairdresser refused, so she literally grabbed her, the hair clipper and started doing it herself. Number two, Paul McCartney is dead. Hey, June. Did you know that the real Paul McCartney actually died in 1966 and was replaced by a look-alike? Or at least that's what some fans theorize. I, I just laughed it off, but it was a little bit strange because people did start looking at me like... Yeah. <laughs> is it? Is it him? They say all the proof you need that Paul is dead is in his lyrics. For instance, if you play Revolution 9 from the Beatles' White Album backwards, it reportedly sounds like they're saying, Turn me on, dead man. John Lennon can also be heard saying, I buried Paul in the song Strawberry Fields Forever, instead of the actual lyrics, Cranberry Sauce. McCartney himself who is likely very much alive, even poked fun at the conspiracy by naming one of his albums Paul is Live. But ask yourself this, would the real Paul McCartney write Spies Like Us? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. You can see his pupils change everything. Look at that, that's not even the same person. But that indicated to me the probability that the barbiturate that killed Miss Monroe was administered to her by an enema. Are you kidding me? This is the best thing that could have ever happened to Taylor Swift if Kanye West hadn't done that. Right. No one would know that she won the female video of the year and no one would have cared. Number one. The not dead theory. Almost 30 years after his death, a brand new Andy is Alive rumor is raging through the internet. Sometimes we love our celebrities so much, we just can't let them go. And after every high profile celebrity death, there are those who refuse to believe it's true and that their fave star is actually gone. We can't go on together, the suspicious mind. For example, if you ask some people where Elvis Presley, Andy Kaufman, and Michael Jackson are right now, the answers will be living in Michigan, New Mexico, and Canada, respectively. Oh, and Jim Morrison's living as a homeless man in New York City. With God as our father, brothers all are we. But perhaps the most famous not dead theory of all is that rapper Tupac Shakur faked his death. Grab your blocks when you see Tupac. Call the cops when you see Tupac. He was supposedly assassinated in a drive-by shooting in 1996, but others claim he's still alive based on clues in his lyrics and one of his stage names, Machiavelli. According to them, he's now living in Cuba. I think he's somewhere like in Africa or something, you know, like in a third world country. Yeah, just kicking it on the low. Do you agree with our list? What theory do you believe? Lord's music is actually really good. Thanks, but it gets even better when I add the drum loops. For more bizarre top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Is Hollywood run by the Jews? Well, in a way, yes. In a way, no. It's not run by real Jews. It's run by the synagogue of Satan who pretends to be Jewish.